You have just listened to the press classes 6E and 6B conducted by Mr. Wilmot. They played the song Break Time Dance and Jesse Brown Jack. Thank you. Your play was fantastic. Good morning, Polina. Good morning, Mrs. Moore. How are you this morning? I'm fine, and you? And I'm fantastic because we are having guests from all over Europe this morning. Where are they coming from? They are coming from Austria, from Spain, from Hungary, from Belgium and from Turkey. Wow, that's a big surprise. So our school is really international now. Yes, and we are very happy that also Mr. Fata has joined us because we are having so many international guests today. He wants to give a speech and welcome the guests to our Offenschule Wald. Please say hello to Mr. Fata. Good morning. Friends from Europe, boys and girls, colleagues and colleagues, we are very happy to have you here. This morning before I left for school, I read the newspaper and I read a funny thing. There is a boy in the United States of America and he is in his first year at school. And his mother told him, you need a new haircut. And the mother said, uh, and the boy said, that's fine, I want to have the same haircut as my best friend and tomorrow in the morning the teacher will not be able to tell us from one another. She will think that are two of the same kind. And he had the haircut exactly as his best friend. And the only thing why it did not work was the one boy was black and the other was white. And isn't that fantastic? It didn't even they didn't even see that they were different in the color of their skin. They were friends and they had the same haircut. So there was no more difference. Isn't that fantastic? You came here from different countries in Europe. And we are so happy to have you here. There are more than 24 nationalities in our school already. And there are five more now with you being here. So it's about 30 different nationalities now. And we all can learn and feel that we are all different, but we are one in one thing. The wish to be together in all our differences and live in peace together. And this is what you can feel this week in Offle Schule Waldau. We are so happy to have you here. Welcome, have a very nice time, enjoy yourselves and get the spirits. This is Europe. We learn together and we are together. Thank you very much for coming. There is one thing I forgot. I said welcome, but I forgot to say thank you. An exchange program like this is wonderful to have, but hard to prepare. And I say thank you from the bottom of my heart to all those in Ofte Schule Wallon and in the other schools in the other countries of Europe for preparing this to make this possible. And above all, it's Dumont who has all the strings in her hand to make it work, as you can see. She is, she is very reliable and I'm very sure that you'll have a nice time and this is due to you and all the others who have. Thank you very much. Most of you might know the title of the project is By Everest Your Model. I do not really understand what it means. Are we going to Crabbit Mountain and why are the others having molehills? This is presence that we want to learn from each other. So uh, when we, when our delegation came to Spain, they were really amazed about the IT lessons in Spain and about the computer equipment in the Spanish classrooms. So it is a molehill for them, but an Everest for us. What is our highest Everest? I'm sure there are plenty of things we can learn from others. Yes, because it's just like what I've just said, that the IT lessons are a lot better in Spain and are a lot better in other schools. So this is what we want, want to prove them this morning. Oh yes, you're right. Computers are so helpful in everyday life that we cannot imagine living without them. But at Offner Schule Weida we sometimes are desperate because nothing works as we want it to work. We're sitting around waiting for the machine to start working and giving us access to the information we need. But find out for yourselves and have a close look at an IT lesson here. Oh no, what's the matter? This awful computer is so old, I hate it. My grandpa has already used this time. 
It always breaks down whenever I need it. Ah yes, the computers are terrible. We just need to clean the water and the computer breaks down and leave us with the blue screen. What's the problem? The computer breaks down all the time. I have to restart it again and again. I'm fed up with this situation. Hey guys, what are you doing here? The computers are terrible. We just need to click on whatever and the computer breaks down and leaves us. Hey, why are you so loud? I need to work. You also have to work on your projects. Your presentations have to be finished by next Monday. I want to collect them. But the computers permanently break down and we cannot continue doing our researches or start writing our text. How can we get ready with our work on time? Do not get on my nerves. I cannot help you. This system is too old and too slow. I don't know what to do. But Mr. Subasiyoglu, you want us to finish our project. The deadline is next week. I do need some more facts on my year of birth. I cannot give my presentation and finish my folder with what I have up to now. It's just not enough, you would not like it. But there's one thing that I can tell you. Go to the library and read a book about your topics. When I was at your age, you only ate books and you survived well. But the information we need is just on the internet. You cannot work without the internet nowadays. There is the newest information. Take a try and go to the library. Five minutes later. <coughs> We found these cool comic books. But no information about our topic. <sighs> the computers are working again. Oh great, but we do not have access to the internet. Okay, what have you been doing there? The internet's not working? Yes, this is sad. Uh, why we don't, we cannot work like this. Why don't we have wireless in every room and can use our mobile? Okay, come down, have a look. Click on this sign, drag this button and drop it here. Click again. What do you see? Shut up, Yannick. Yannick. Don't behave like a nerd. Explain it again, slowly and clearly. Look, click here. And when this symbol emerges, drag it and drop it down to this grid. Then, confirm it with another click. And now it's safe. Okay, let's give it a try. Great, it's working. Wow, it looks fast. Hey, I'm on the internet, I can't believe it. Yannick, you have work on this. Yannick, thank you for your support. We'll get a work in your next school report. A total blackout. I'm sure that everything right. I have to try it again. It can't be my fault, it must be the system. 